Well, welcome back to the podcast. Um, insanely chill. Uh, it's Wade here. Thank you for joining me uh, today. I'm very proud and absolutely thrilled to introduce my guest. It's my big bro, Zan. Zan. So, what's good? What's up? What's good? What's, what's good? Oh, you know the. Oh, uh, there you are. Yeah, yeah. What's good? What's good, what's dude? What's good, dude? Dude. Dude. You got a podcast and shit? I do. That's legit, bro. I know. Man. Going up. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, man. <laughs> So, dude, you got a podcast. Yeah. That's sick. I know. Do you want a beer? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Sure. I was wondering if you had any, like, refreshments. Yeah, man. Anything of that nature. Rona. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. It's Rona season, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? You have an opener? There's no opener, dude. Damn. I was not expecting for him to ask that. I don't have a beer opener. <laughs> Did I just mess up my own podcast? I think I have one. Oh, you know what, dude? What? Oh, I got one in my pocket. I'm oh, okay. Weak. Oh, dude. oh <laughs> damn, damn, pot. Woo. Oh man, sorry about that, dude. No worries, dude. <laughs> damn, I was worried for a second. That's good. Dude. Cold, right? That's super cold. Been nice. Well, dude. It's been pretty rad just coming on here and like having a chance to straight up open up to you about life and all that. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, we still have like 58 minutes left. Oh word. Yeah. So it's a, it is a podcast. So. Hmm. So, well, dude, I really should be taking off. Oh, okay, for it's sure. Been nice catching up with yeah. you and, and all that for shit. For sure. But, uh, Big bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... All right, take the beer Ooh, for the... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah. Still plugged in. <laughs> just take the beer for the road. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to post up here and just keep going without me. Yeah, sure. All right. Yep. Perfect intro. Wow. Dude, I can't get over how legit this is. I'm going to put this down so it's not a fucking arrow on it. Yeah, probably good. <laughs> I'd rather advertise Outer Banks, the TV show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I <laughs> oh, no, thought... actually, this is, just the, this is just the area. This is just a cup from Outer Banks. Wow. Yeah, pretty sick, right? That's pretty sick. Yeah, my buddy bought me this. Wait, Outer? do you watch Outer Banks? I watched the first season. I heard it's like... I'm bad, obviously, but, like, you should watch it because it's good. Dude, like, 
that was most people's opinion of it was like it's so insane you got to watch it but it is too crazy right it's like so bad that it's good that it's bad oh it goes too far for me personally that's wow we just that's a whole nother level yeah, dude, I know. That's, cause like, which lo- means it's kind of good right because <laughs> <laughs> like love island is so bad that it's good Yes. But I don't know if they've gotten to the level that it's so bad that it's good that it's bad. Love Island to me is just good. And I'm actually a little bit insulted that you just said that. Really? It's just good to me. It's so good that it's good. It's so good that it's good? Yeah. I mean, it is just like, here's the thing, though. Would it be good if they didn't have British accents? No. Yeah, this, you know what? I don't, care. I don't know if I can contractually say this, but I, I don't like the American one. Yeah, as much as the British one, <laughs> we did this whole big deal with the <laughs> with NBC or whatever with Peacock for the American version. So I don't know. I don't think I can say that. But yeah, well, I get it though because I was. I mean, I was thinking the whole reason I enjoy watching the show is for the lingo, like the chat, the banter, you know, the banter. Uh-uh. Fit, yeah, he's fit. He's got good chat. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love it. And I'm just sitting there like it's Whoa. charming. Yeah. And for some reason, Americans like don't have that charm. Like, our but, dialogue and our lingo just is, like, abrasive and just, it doesn't flow. I that, think that's why British people might, like, Real Bros of Simi Valley. Because it, it's so American. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're like, what the fuck? Is this how they talk? Yeah. Meanwhile, we're watching Love Island like, wow, they sound ridiculous. <laughs> this is hilarious. No, but, like, the British accent, like, flows. Yeah. No, it, it definitely sounds prettier than... It does. You know. And everyone sounds funnier. They all have like a kind of a drier sense of humor. Yeah, because they could say something that isn't that funny, but it's funny. Yeah. Like that was my theory about, uh, you know that show Lupin on Netflix? No. It's a French show. Okay. Right? Got like, you know, one of those shows that came out and had like 80 million viewers right away. Okay. I wasn't impressed. Okay. I thought it looked cool, but I also thought that if it wasn't in French, the script would have sucked. Oh. But because it was in French... It's like You're like, ooh, this sounds beautiful. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Their, their voices sound so cool, but then you look at the actual script. Uh, like, if you just transcribe the script of the show, you'd be like, the script is not great. Right, right. right. But when you say it in French, yeah, un fromage. Uh, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> that means one cheese. Right, exactly. <laughs> See? I was one like, cheese, un fromage, <laughs> nice. <laughs> one cheese. Is that how you say one in French? Un, right? Under trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept cheese. A fromage. Like I said, no hate to Lupin, because it did look cool. It would just be like, it's it's like a spy show. Right. And I feel like if you're doing a spy show, you got to think out, you know, how are these things going to happen? You know what I mean? It'd be like he breaks into the Louvre, and they just like hard cut, he's in there. Like you just You just skip the whole part where he got into the Louvre. Now he's on the roof. Like he walks up. And all of a sudden, he's on the roof of the Louvre. I'm like, <laughs> that right there was a big feat. That could have been a whole movie. <laughs> that we just skipped over. <laughs> this dude just got to the roof. And yeah. you're just skipping that? And now we're just supposed to, I'm just supposed to roll with this? I have questions. Sounds like you got some beef with Lupin. I have some You're serious. like, no shade, but here's a whole bunch of shade. <laughs> <laughs> no, no shade to Lupin, but yeah. Serious beef. Well, thanks for coming back on the show, dude. Dude, thank um, you. We're back nice. with Jimmy. This is... With, it's almost been five years. It's a little bit more than five years, but the original episode that we did was October 7th, I believe, 2015. Wow, so it's almost exactly sorry, five years ago. Yeah. Dude, it's uh, crazy. You have so much more money now. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, the show really worked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really, I mean, yeah. wow, dude. No, I, I you know what? I, I do kind of regret like building this set for this, because I was like, okay, I'm gonna bring back insanely chill. It's been too long. I gotta bring it back, and so I did it. I like invested in this set, mm-hmm. and then we did the first episode, and everyone was like, "This is the opposite of chill. You couldn't get further from chill. This looks like Infowars. Ah, uh, like looks like you're about to, you know, talk about conspiracy theories or well, some super dark news. It would have worked if the last one was just called Chill, yeah, <laughs> and this was insanely chill. <laughs> yeah, right. But it is, <laughs> now that you mention it, it is, a, it is a little less chill. It's a little stressful. <laughs> I see a lot of cameras. And <laughs> last time we were here, I'm pretty sure it was just like me and you. It was, yeah. Just drinking. And it was funny because I was just, 
You're drinking beer. Yeah, we were drinking a beer. It was like 11 a.m., like just like now. Yeah. And uh, it was a little more chill, but this is this is sick. I mean, this is a, this is a legit setup. Yeah, thanks, man. I saw a comment on the last one that was like, um, it's almost like they just forgot the camera was there. And they were just like having a conversation. And I was like, oh, today's probably going to be a little different. Yeah. <laughs> kind of hard to forget that there's like 15 cameras in this. <laughs> and this one is, this one's just moving. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, just, right? It's just, I know. It's, just, it's, it's like cool. the room, it's like the Roomba of tripods. Yeah. <laughs> Man. So, and so June Shine paid for all this? No. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor must be pretty good. It's I, so good, I'm, man. It really <laughs> killed it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for coming back on. Yeah, dude. Thanks for having me. It's good to see you. This is the it's only time we, we haven't hung out since the last one. I know, right? It's been five years. <laughs> I haven't seen you. No, we haven't seen each other since it's been the like, rap party of yeah, Real Bros. I know. It's been a while. Like years. Hasn't it been? It's been, yeah, I don't know if I've run into you anywhere yeah. since then. I think I invited you to the June Chime party, but oh, must have yeah. been something, I'm sure something, you know, out of town. No. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm sure you had like a big meeting or something, date with the, no? No, I don't think so. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. No, I was, I, <laughs> I, I was, I was shooting that night. Oh, right, right. right I okay. would have come. I wanted to come. And uh, well, I appreciate that. Christian came, so <clears throat> you appreciate me that I that I wanted to come. Yes, I do appreciate the thought. Yes, yeah, it was there. It was there. How was how's shooting? How's everything going? Um, you're, you're a we just you're, the, you're one of the leads. Yeah, of like a, a a prime time sitcom on what channel? ABC. ABC. Yeah, I mean it's a pretty incredible development since the last time we <laughs> sat down to do this. Yeah, and you're done. I'm done. And does yeah. it feel good to be wrapped? It, it feels good to be wrapped. You're wrapped on season three. Three. So season three is airing right now. Episode six just came out, and there's like seven more. Nice. So we just finished shooting last week. It was my last day on Thursday. Um, and then I've been, I just finished the edit on episode, I directed episode nine. I saw that. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, so that was Congrats. cool. I had a lot of fun with that. That was like a, a really nice like reminder that that's what I like doing a lot. Yeah. Um, and I had a lot of fun directing. Um, and so, yeah, that's episode nine. That'll come out like probably late November or early December or something. Had you directed anything like this with this much budget? No. No. So is that pretty cool? Yeah. Like I mean, working with people like Topher and directing them? Yeah, it was definitely cool. It was also nice because, you know, like when we did Real Bros, that was just kind of like how it was. It wasn't like a change of pace when I when I was directing. Yeah. That was just how it was the whole time. Yeah. So this time I was a little nervous, like how is it going to feel directing people that I've just been acting with yeah. the whole time? Because um, now you're like their boss. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Um, hey, I know it was all fun and games yesterday, but today's going to be a little different. Today you're calling me James. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a quick break real quick to thank the sponsor of today's episode, which is Heights. You ever have brain fog? You know, you ever wake up and you're kind of just running at 50% capacity? You know, thoughts aren't really happening as quickly as they should. I feel like that almost every single day, but not since using Heights. Heights is a smart supplement that's all about brain care. Uh, treat your brain right so that it treats the rest of your body right. And it's only two capsules a day, just two. And in each capsule, you get 20 high-quality vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. In fact, the antioxidants alone are equivalent to 20 wild blueberries. Who's got just 20 wild blueberries laying around? Do you? Do you have a blueberry garden tree? What? I don't know how blueberries are grown. But you probably don't, so you should get heights. So for all of you, that you know don't have the time or the resources to forage 20 wild blueberries every day, then you can take Heights instead. Heights is delivered right to your door with a simple to manage subscription so that uh, you'll never run out. I've recommended Heights to a lot of family and friends and they could not be more thrilled to improve their mental and physical health. And I'm sure 30,000 other Heights customers would agree. So it's time to deliver whole body health by taking care of your brain. Tackle brain fog, energy, and sleep issues with Heights Smart Supplement. Uh, just two clean capsules a day with or without food. 
no tray full of pills, no gross glass of green sludge. To help you get started with brain care, Heights is giving all of my listeners 15% off uh, your first subscription order with the code CHILL. So just go to yourheights.com and use code CHILL at checkout to get your exclusive discount and start taking care of your brain and body today. Um, but I did like a promo video for the show like a couple weeks before I directed. So that was almost like a nice little... Yeah, I saw that one too. Yeah, a, n- a nice little like... Really? Uh, Training wheels yeah. to actually directing the show and yeah. just kind of like working with them in that capacity before I actually direct the show. Um, but yeah, it was cool. It was definitely the 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 biggest budget thing I've directed. You were on Real Bros. You know that there was there was not much of a budget there. Um, I mean, it was still legit. It, it was still legit. But I mean, like this, I feel like directing us was a little bit <laughs> like less serious. Yeah, because it's, mean, it's it was mostly just us like shooting the shit and. You yeah, know, it we was, had to follow the script, but it was like home economics. It's got to be like, I think it's like twenty one thirty or yeah. twenty two minutes. Like, yeah. it has to end up being exactly that. Real Bros, we could be like, oh, this is funny. Let's just do this, and the episode will be like twenty five minutes. Yeah, this week, yeah, yeah. Which was great. Yeah, but um, that's a great credit though. Like, yeah, put that. So, it, what's next? Um, man, so you're wrapped now. Like the rest of the year is yes. Like, so, what is uh, the future? What does the near future look like? Bro, you're asking me these heavy ass questions. Yeah, sorry, dude. I'm, I don't know why I'm. See, this is what happens with this set. <laughs> it feels like a fucking. I know. Like an interview, you know. Yeah. Well. Oh man. Um. No. I. I so what's uh, next? <sighs> what's next for Jim? What's next for Jim? Well, I. Uh, to be honest, I'm just really looking forward to like having some time. I've been so busy with this show and just at like last time i had a hiatus i I went and did like two movies back to back and i didn't have any time to like work on any of my own stuff or Mm -hmm. develop any shows or so i've been really looking forward to having time to write and you know try to make some things happen like on the development side um i'm gonna I'm going to start doing stand up again. Nice. I've been missing it for a while now and I just like haven't wanted to half ass it and I only would have been able to half ass it if I started before this, but now I actually have like time. So I'm going to Where are you going to go up? I think I would start in like I was trying to think like what's a good place to start back up cuz I haven't done it in like 5 years. Just crush some open mics. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll I'd, I'd go to like San Diego or Irvine or something. Okay, okay. I don't want to start back And, like, book a show and, like... Yeah, I'd just go for it. Yeah. That was how I started. Yeah. Where, are you doing stand-up still? No. No? No. It you, really just scares the shit out of me. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's definitely, even, like, the most nerve-wracking thing. Yeah, yeah. When I, I mean, when I was touring with Noel, it was, like... That was nice because we both were on stage, so, you know, things, like... I always knew that it was, like, kind of, like, a crutch, sort of. Mm-hmm. Like, having someone else there. So, if, like, things were going weird... Right. That like would kind of curb my anxiety a little bit, but like I was I was a mess when we were touring. Like I just I hate I just I didn't hate it, but I hated the the nerves that came with it. Yeah. And like it's every it time. just every single time the uh and then the crash afterwards. And I just I just was like not happy because I just would dread every show. And I would have a blast on stage. Like right. and after a good show, it's like one of the best feelings you can ever have. Absolutely. Being like, holy fuck, I crushed that. That never happened, though. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, like, I just couldn't... I just, like, I hate the that nervous feeling. Like, it's not even really good nerves for me, either. Because I do think, like, you have to make sure you keep scaring yourself. That's, like, really the only way to yeah. keep evolving. It was, like, bad nerves, you know? Mm-hmm. Just, I just... I want to... I, I kind of want to, like, write a... Write, like, a 45-minute, like, speech that's funny. Yeah. As kind of like a my way into stand up, where I'm not like like explicitly writing jokes. It's more of like a narrative speech, like something I could write like a book on or something like that right. later. What would? How does that differ from what you were doing? I mean, we were. It was like a variety show that we were doing. So it was stand up, music, um, but the whole thing was written to be a comedy show. Uh-huh. Whereas I think this would be written more to be like a you know, I don't know, like a motivational speech that I could get booked at colleges at or whatever. But it was like peppered with jokes, so it'd right. be funny. I've been thinking about doing that forever. Well, see, that's kind of like what how mine started. Like, I did a couple talks at colleges. Like, I spoke to the, fil- the film programs. Yeah. And 
it was kind of just me talking about my college experience and um, I made it funny and it was like 45 minutes and my manager at the time was like, you should just, we should just book you to do stand up. I was like, oh man, that's kind of intense. Like, yeah. uh, and then she just booked me for an hour headlining show at Cobb's Comedy Club in San Francisco. <laughs> so my first show was an hour. You're like, thanks. And I was like, whoa. Um, but I did it. It went really well. And it was just kind of like a, you know, like a progressed version of what I had been talking about at the colleges. And then I just kind of developed that and kept tweaking that over the years. So I've never done a show under 30 minutes. Wow. Which is, which is a weird, it's not like a, that's not how stand up works. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know. It just feels like a weird, I'm like, I've been like dancing with like, how do I get back? Like how much time do I start with? I've only done like 40. I'm only used to doing like 45 minutes. Yeah, like I, yeah. I can't get up there and just do like five. Yeah. It would feel weird. Yeah. I would feel like I need more time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then also like, it's weird, like, the further you get away from it, the the more nervous you feel. Yeah. And so when you're not going up there consistently, like, I feel at this point so far away. Like, like I feel like going back up would be, like, my first show all over again. Yeah. So you do feel scared. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I would feel, like, a little nervous before every show. Obviously, when you're doing it, like, twice, three times a week, you don't feel as nervous because you just are, like, doing it. Yeah. But still, before every show, I would pace for, like, an hour and a half Dude, in my hotel room. And just like, you like don't know what to do. Like you don't know if you should eat or not eat. Yeah. And like, should I, nap? I, get, I always get like weirdly uh, superstitious before I would go on stage. Like <laughs> I would be like, if I don't, if I'm not, if I'm like looking at Instagram and I don't like stop on a person that I like before. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. <laughs> but like this weird OCD shit. Like if yeah. I don't stop on a person that I like before I lock my phone, I'm going to have a bad show or something like right. that. Right. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. I, I would do, I would just get we in weird like mental head spaces and it just wasn't I the, don't know. the best feeling was when you walk off yes when you're like i don't have to do this again nice. tomorrow nice yeah it was also weirdly depressing sometimes because like when i was on tour it was just me like i was it was nobody else it was just me like yeah not my manager not like a tour manager <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no friends it was just me like renting a car in just pennsylvania cr and like crushing hotel rooms driving it <laughs> yeah <laughs> Like it was some weird, some weird moments. Just like driving by, it's like when your job is like making people laugh, and then you get back in your car and you're just completely by yourself, completely by yourself yeah, yeah. for like two hours. Just driving. like an audience of people there to see you. Yeah. So you're like, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty popular. And then you just and get then, back in your rental Camry. Like, I should have a friend here. Or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like to be like, wouldn't there be someone that, that wants to spend time? <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> That's funny. Um, so. Why'd you do the triathlon? That's like one of the things that sparked this conversation or like when I reached out to you. First of all, because I, I brought the show back. So I was like, I would love to have every person on that I had back then. Yeah. And see what they've been up to in the last five years. But uh, also because I started training. Like I did an ultra marathon a couple months ago. Yeah, I saw that. And then, out of your fucking mind. 37 then, miles? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 37 miles. Um, and then after that finished, I was like, Hey, I need a next goal to like continue doing this. How was your back and your knees? The back, the back was the worst, the worst part of that because it was a trail run. So it's, it was like 9,000. Yeah, it was nine. It was like a hike basically. So 9,000 feet of elevation gain. So it was like a lot of it was going up and then going down and then going up and going down. So I had, I had an ultra vest on that had like all my like water and like, just ha like gel. You have gear. I had gear. You have gear. I was geared up. You gotta be. Yeah. I mean, I did it one time. You would time. die if you didn't have that. I, I looked geared up because they, they hooked me up with some stuff at the Malibu tryout. This is what I want to talk about. I want to know how this whole thing happened. Well, so one of my co-stars on Home Economics, yeah. Carla Souza, has done this a few times. And she told me, like, we were shooting at Disneyland, like, a couple months ago. And she is... <laughs> In the hotel pool, swimming laps, and like <laughs> we're doing night shoots, so we're 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 you know we're waking up at like five p.m., eating breakfast at like seven thirty p.m. at the Cheesecake Factory downstairs. <laughs> Damn, breakfast at the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, it was. It that was sounds weird. like it was my weird. dream. Breakfast at the Cheesecake Factory, and it's dark out. Yeah, and everyone Love else that. is there for dinner. Yeah, 
I'll get the buffalo blast juice, please. <laughs> <laughs> like, no I'll better have, way to start your day. Yeah, I'm like, I'll have, I'll have the avocado egg rolls and a coffee, please. <laughs> and then you get to, we'd get to Disneyland at like 12 a.m., shoot until like 10 a.m. So that's a weird schedule. Yes. And she's waking up 5 p.m. and swimming laps in the pool. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why? Yeah. She's like, oh, I'm training for this triathlon. I was like, oh. Um, she's like, do you want to do it? I was like, certainly not. Yeah. Absolutely don't want to do it. No interest. Okay. She's like, my co-star on my last show did it with me. Like, you should do it. And I was like, no. And then like the next week, she's talking about it again. And I'm like, like, like what are the distances? She's like, well, it's 0.5 mile swim, 18 mile bike ride, four mile run. And I'm like. So is a sprint distance or is that Olympic? I think it's a sp- the sprint distance. Okay. I was like, wait, that sounds that sounds doable. That doesn't sound like insane. Right. I guess I'm used to hearing like the Ironman distances and half Ironman distances. Right. So that seemed like pretty tame. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, you could you could do it. And I was like, all right, I'll think about it. That's what I said. I'll okay. think about it. Okay. I get home. I get an email from Carla looping me in with the Malibu Tri coordinator. <laughs> hey, Kelsey, it's Carla. This is Jimmy. He's going to be racing with us this weekend. <laughs> Jimmy, so happy you're racing with us. Please send over your sizes. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, I haven't even said yes. I didn't even confirm <laughs> that I was doing this. But I sent over her sizes because they were talking about free gear. And and she's like, we're doing like a, a practice thing this upcoming weekend so i'm like all right i'll go to the practice thing i'll see how i'm feeling and if i'm feeling good might as well and uh i go for a jog like two days later and i'm like i I jogged like three miles it did not go well okay i got i I got to my destination and i was i was i I can't i can't do a triathlon there's no way um it's just not gonna work and uh I told Carla, I was like, I don't think this is happening. I just ran three miles and it just simply did not work. She's like, well, what was your pace? And it was like, I don't know, like eight minutes or something. Oh, okay. And she's like, that's way too fast. Slow slow it down. So now she's coaching you? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Also in that time, I'm about to email this Kelsey back and be like, hey, I can't, I, I don't think it's, it's not looking good. Yeah, yeah. Before I can do that, I get an email from Carla, uh, or from her, Carla's publicist, Triathlon Magazine is interested in doing a feature on the two of you. <laughs> and I'm like, I haven't even agreed to this. <laughs> and I'm already being signed up for a feature in Triathlon Magazine. And at this point, I'm like, okay, this is getting kind of funny. Guys, today's episode is sponsored by my good friends at SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets to live events insanely simple. Ooh, see what we did there? I've got the app on my phone, and uh, it's easily the best way to buy tickets. Let's see what's going down. See, kick there it is right there. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Blackpink. That's what I'm excited for. I actually love Blackpink. One of the best concerts I've ever seen was them. So I might actually be going to that. Um, Whether it's concerts, football, basketball, hockey, or more, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying simple. With so many amazing concerts happening right now, you're not going to want to miss out. I'm talking Bad Bunny, The Weeknd, Harry Styles, and so much more. SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal, so when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green, of course, means good. Red means bad. And you're all getting hooked up with the code CHILL for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code CHILL. Make sure you click the link on the description and download the app. It was like Labor Day weekend. And I was like, I got to try this again because yeah. it's triathlons in like two weeks. Yeah, yeah. So I go for another jog. I slowed it down. I ran like five miles and okay. I felt okay. Okay. And then I was like, okay, I can she do this. Right. I can do this. Yeah. But I hadn't, <laughs> I had never done an ocean swim. Yeah. And I had never so, ridden a road bike. Okay. So I was like, I got to, I got to do these things before the triathlon. Right. So I go to the, little practice session it was light there was lightning that day in LA so we couldn't do an ocean swim that was a week before and I'm starting to be kind of nervous so the day before the trial and then I go for like a bike ride so you didn't go for an ocean swim I went for an ocean swim the day before I showed up to just like put the wetsuit on and just like went for a little swim 
And then like three days prior, I went for a bike ride around my neighborhood. It was really stressful, man. I was on the street and there was like, you know, cars flying oh, by. It's horrifying. LA is not built for bikers. No, not at all. There's They don't drive like there's anyone on the road but the cars. Yeah. It's not like when you're in Europe and there's like scooters or, or New York when, you know, it, there's an expectation that there's bikes. Yeah. In LA, if you're on a bike, good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why they're always mad. Bikers are always so mad. Yeah. You know, you just see them, they're always screaming at you and yeah. like, yeah, get the fuck out of the way, you know? Yeah. Um, and I kind of get that because I was like, I was like, oh, but I wasn't mad. I was just scared. Yeah. <laughs> I was just really scared. Yeah. Um, but I was a little nervous about the bike ride because I, I biked around my neighborhood and there's a lot of hills and stuff. So I was like dead after like three, four miles. <laughs> Whose bike uh, did you use? Uh, they gave me a bike. Oh, okay. So you already had it by this point. Yeah. So they gave me the bike. They fitted me for the bike. And I was like, I should, I should ride this thing this around. This is kind of sick. And they just did this for free? Like, it so was just... they, they, I... like, it was like, we want to have this... you involved. This is going to be good PR for There's us. There's a celebrity division. Right. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I hate I'm really to, glad I had to make you say that. I hated to say it. <laughs> I'm glad that that happened. <laughs> so, uh, because the whole thing is like for, it raises money for the children's hospital. Right, right. So they want to have those people involved. It raised like over a million dollars every year. Yeah. So that's actually pretty cool. That yeah. They've done it for 17 years. They've raised over $17 million for the children's hospital. Yeah. My sister works at the children's hospital. Nice. So I was like, you know, this is a good good cause. Um, so then, yeah, I pretty much showed up like 5 a.m. And that was the moment where I was like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> it's pitch black. It's raining. Yeah, okay. Is it? It was raining that day. Wow, stressful. Very and what stressful. was the first ocean swim like? Because I, the first one that I did, which was like two months ago now, was horrifying and so stressful. It is stressful. Yes. And But I just, the first day, you know, it was a Saturday, I just went out there with Carla and her husband and we just went out and like, Literally just swam like a hundred meters, and that wasn't scary. Uh, no, because there was like it was just us three. Okay, but then the day of, you know, oh yeah, that's one of the scariest parts like, when everyone's kicking and you're getting kicked in the face and shit everyone like that. just runs. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna participate in this. Yeah, you're like, chaos. I'll wait it out. I'm gonna here let you go first. You go ahead. Yeah. I'll hang back. Yeah, I'm not gonna win the race in the swim. Yeah, yeah. I'll just make sure there's no sharks back here. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, hold up the rear. <laughs> I, and, and like, when, when, you know, they had like a, a class for us for the celebrities. <laughs> Say it. For the celebrity division. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and uh, the guy was like, you know, I don't want to see you guys on your back, you know, doing the backstroke. I don't want to see you doing the breaststroke. You got to learn to rest while you're freestyling. And I was like, absolutely not. So how do you do that? No. He's like, you just got to learn how to be, you know. Take it slower and be resting as you're freestyling, which no chance, dude. Like a longer breath? Yeah, no. How, it's... I got in there and I'm like, I'm like, okay, straight to the breaststroke. <laughs> okay, you know? okay. And everyone, everyone's just, <laughs> people are getting kicked in the face. I'm like, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. By the, you know, midway point, I'm on my back. I'm doing these ones. <laughs> you flipped onto your back? <laughs> yeah, because you keep the legs going like this. And then you just... So you were back breaststroke. Dude, I was flying. Honestly, <laughs> you were. the only thing I would have done differently, I would have done that more because I I was moving, dude. I was... I flew by... You invented I, I, a stroke. I saw a guy, he was doing this, and I just... I go flying by him. He's like, what the fuck? I'll see you later, man. That's not a swim stroke. You just I, invented that. I Maybe I did. The but reverse, I, that's amazing. I was thinking about it because I'm like, I'm not going to use my arms, really. Right. I mean, the bike a little bit, but like, besides, this is my only time I'm using my arm. Right. Might as well go all arms. Yeah, yeah. So I was just, you know, <laughs> and, uh, but <laughs> the swim was my longest one. It was like 20, 24 minutes or something okay. to go a half mile. <laughs> and then uh, it was, it was hectic because it was really, the, the waves were super choppy that day. That shit's scary. So you're, I mean, like when I'm freestyling, I'm like, you know. Going to take a breath, and water in the face, swallowing yeah. water. Okay, it was it was very hectic. It was right. scary. Yeah. Um. Luckily, those wetsuits are also very buoyant. Yeah, I know. So I felt like I could just kind of float. Oh, yeah. L worst case scenario, I would I would be able to to live. Yeah. Um. And then I I like 
you know, and the funny part is they're like talking about, Carla was like, you know, talking about transition times. Like, you know, you got to make sure you, uh, like you have all your stuff laid out because, because, <laughs> you know, when you get in there, like it can really, you know, getting ready for the bike will really cut into your transition time. And I'm like, Carla, I'm not, I don't, I'm trying to finish. I'm not like here looking for time. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, so I, you know, I get to the bike part. I put, <laughs> I'm putting on sunscreen. Okay. I had my, I had my towel. I dry off, put on some sunscreen. And you had the, you had like the onesie that you're supposed to wear. They gave me a tri suit. Right. It looked really legit. Yeah. It was like this full zip up onesie. And you wear it under your wetsuit. You wear that under the wetsuit. Okay. I just wore, I got out of the, the water, took that off, and then I put the, uh, dried my feet off, which apparently no one does. They're like, you had a towel? You were drying off? I was like, yeah. What, well, what I, about your transition time? Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what am I going to put on? Wet shoes? They're like, my transition time was like four and a half minutes. Everyone else is like one minute, like t- minute and a half. I'm like, oh, yeah, I could have really shaved some time there. Um, but yeah, threw on some shoes. I didn't have bike shoes like you do over there. So you didn't clip in? I didn't clip in, no, because I, I, that was my second time ever riding a road bike. I was like, I don't want to try to learn how to clip in That's right true, now. true, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And the bike- fall over. The bike was a blast. Yeah. I had so much fun. Dude, I like, the road, up until, like, getting my bike set up and getting it ready for the outdoor, my first outdoor ride was, mm. like, not fun at all. Right. Because I had to figure out the cleats on the shoes and- all the, you need so much gear. A lot of gear. So much gear. And it's just one thing after another after another. Finally, when I finally got to the point where I could take this thing out on the road, I rode for two hours and had the time of my life. Where'd you ride? Uh, I took like, there's a, I took like the river path down to Culver City, which sucked, mm. by the way. It was so just like bumpy and shit. Oh, you got a bike path like right over here. Yeah. And then you can go like, you could take the basically the beach path like all the way down to Palos Verdes. Mm. Oh wow! And uh, but like most people here just go PCH, which is fucking scary. That was what I was on. But you like, went PCH, but they had a they had a. Uh, no, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. For during, the triathlon. During the triathlon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. I went for a ride in my neighborhood, I was on the street and there's like potholes, and I, I was like, should I have shocks? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm like hitting these bumps, like, like I thought the bike was gonna break. I got to the race, I was like, I think I might have fucked the bike up because I was riding. I like hit a couple potholes and like, you know, when you hit a pothole in your car and you're like, yeah, ah! yeah, yeah. That was how it felt. Every like little bump on the bike. Yeah, and they're like, it, these things feel fragile, don't they? They because they're so light. I thought it was gonna, but so the the bike ride on PCH was so much fun because you, uh, like, I would just book it as fast as I could at the top of the hill. And then once I was going as f- so fast that it wouldn't matter if I was pedaling, I just, you know, just grip it and rip it. Yeah. And I just, I, I was like, I must've been going 75 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt like I was flying, dude. Yeah. yeah. I was going so fast. Have these? I didn't have these. I was just holding on to these ones, you know? Oh, yeah, right, right. And I was just it's like, low. just flying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, and then I started seeing people like with flat tires and stuff. Like on the side of the road, and I just was like, "Oh no, what do what what do I do with my?" <laughs> I, don't I was not prepared for a yeah. flat. I, I saw people pulling out like little extra tire things and like pumping it up. I was like, "If I if that happens to me, I'm done." Yeah, yeah. Not only will I be going 75 miles an hour <laughs> across the cement, it's just <laughs> real flat. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, that, that was all I was thinking. I was like, "It's gonna go flat. I'm gonna do a speed wobble. I'm gonna go flying and slide Off the cliff, flying like 200 the, yards, the, sliding. Yeah. My back's gonna be peeled off." Uh, made it Come through in that. To shoot the next day. Yeah. Oh, and at this point, I had already done the, the triathlon magazine. I had already done the the feature. Really? So it, you you had to finish. I had to finish. It had yeah. already come no out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I'm like talking about how you know I was. I was concerned when I thought I you couldn't have a basket because I didn't know where I was going to put my <laughs> snacks. And they put that in there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like... Uh, so they knew you weren't, like, for real about no, it? No, they knew I wasn't for real. Okay. They knew. I said in the, in the thing, I was like, I never even confirmed that I was doing this. <laughs> um, but I was in the... Ma- I had to finish. Um, so then... Uh, and I said in the thing, they were like, who do you think is going to win? You or Carla? And I was like, 100% Carla. Like, she's been training. Yeah. But if I see her ahead, 
I'm going to turn on the burners. Yeah. <laughs> and did you? And so when the run came along, I, my parents were there. And I like run into them, like, hey, talking to them. I'm like leaning on the railing. Like, What's going on? Yeah, like, yeah. We Fucking just saw up your transition time again. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, they're like, we just saw Carla. And I was like, how long ago? <laughs> like, no. And they're like, about a minute, minute and a half. And I was like, got to go. Yeah. Took off. Oh my and God. I saw her up ahead. Press the NOS button. I beat her by 30 seconds. No way. <laughs> yeah. Did you actually? Yeah, I did. So it came all the way down to the finish line. You guys were like running next to each other? It was like the last mile. I like, I like barely passed Oh my it. God. I had so much fun. Oh yeah. Those things, it's fun. It's like a good energy out there. Oh yeah. The like, actual events like that. Like yeah. that's like one of the reasons why uh, I wanted to do an Ironman was like growing up, my parents both did them. Uh, like going to them is like the most electric environment ever because yeah. everyone is just stoked and everyone there's like something about like overcoming that much pain yeah that just makes everyone so like proud and stoked and inspired and, and like just, happy for each other like yes, everyone yes. just like you know there's people that are just there like cheering you on like you're yeah. biking and someone's like yeah yeah, like, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it was uh that might have been because you're a celebrity though right right <laughs> it could be they were paid actors for the celebrity <laughs> Um, but no, I think I'll definitely do it again. I had like, a, I had, I had a lot of fun. Really? Yeah. I like finished it. And I was like, definitely want to do this again and understand now why people are talking about their times. Yes. I would like to beat my time. Yeah. Um, Maybe shave down some transition. I could shave down some serious transition yeah, time. Right. At least, at least four minutes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's either that, I mean, it's because you did one, but it's, it's also because you're a guy in your thirties now. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just like the natural path it seems everyone it starts doing this this is when you start doing health yes. stuff yeah. <laughs> yeah it's you know the 20s that's when you party and then you turn turn 30 and like time for some triathlons yes yeah but it was great man that's awesome i'm stoked to hear that you're gonna keep doing it i can't believe you're just going straight for an iron man though it makes more sense now that you're saying that your family did this you come yeah. from a full family of maniacs you're yes. not you know yes. the first maniac of yeah. the family yeah um, but an Ironman, it's that swim. It's that 2.4 mile swim that is like, whoa. That's not the one that's intimidating me right now. It's the bike. That's Bring some extra it's tires. That's what I'm saying. I don't even know how to do that yet. I asked my dad, I was like, what if I go out on PCH and get a flat? And he was like, well, I'll teach you how to fix that. I was like, yeah, but what happens when it happens before I, you teach me how to do it? Right. Yeah. What do I do? Is he going to do it Call with an you? Uber? Yeah, he's going to do it with me. And my mom, too, I think. Whoa. Yeah. That's wild. Because he did one. Like, part of the reason why I signed up is because my sister did one last year. She's younger than me. Mm. And she did one, and my dad did it with her. And now he loves her more? Exactly. <laughs> Another quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Manscaped. Listen, the scariest thing that can happen to you this Halloween season is an accident while trimming the old pumpkin patch. Trust me, I've been there, and it's like I'm starring in my own slasher film. Just blood pouring out of my pubes. Luckily, our friends at Manscaped launched their fourth-generation performance package to make sure your pumpkins get the ultimate carving experience. Join the 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code CHILL. Make the right call this spooky season. It's trick or trim. The Performance Package 4.0 also includes the Weed Whacker, a total game changer to your men's hygiene arsenal. Manscaped offers finely tuned pube products featuring a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. Manscaped also just launched their new body buffer. This 100% anti antibacterial body scrubber is just what you need to keep you fresh and clean this Halloween. Also, if you haven't cut your nails recently, which I actually have not, be sure to look into their Shears 2.0 nail kit. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code CHILL. That's C-H-I-L-L -L at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code CHILL at manscaped.com. Say trick or treat to your beautiful new Halloweeny with Manscaped. And, that's tough, man. And I was like, I can't. And then my dad was like, well, that's the last one I'm doing. And I was like, <laughs> I can't. I can't have you not. What do you mean? <laughs> That's the last one. Yeah, he's like, I retired. And I love your sister so much and for I, that. Yeah, and there's just no chance that you'll ever make back <laughs> that love that I now have for her. And so I was like, I can't let you retire, man, without doing one with you. Yeah. Sorry. And he was like, God damn it. And well, so, where's the one that you're going to do? Australia. And 
My question is, you're going so far. Like, if you did like, one in L.A., you'd end up in fucking San Diego. Yeah. So, where do you park? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> for, the, for the race? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you park here. <laughs> you end up, you started in Perth. You end Such up in Such an Sydney. L.A. question. Well, yeah. what's parking going to be like once I get there? Do you, they validate? Yeah. You, you yeah. Val- <laughs> you're going you're gonna to finish the race halfway across Australia, and then what, you take the train back, or you end up in the same spot? You no, know, it's a great question. Haven't looked into it. I would assume the course ends where it starts. I think that's yeah. how it happens most of the time. But that's true. who knows? Maybe they're just like, oh, yeah, Matt, you finished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, in the well, but middle of fucking in the desert, yeah. kangaroos yeah. hopping around. The bus is coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Go to wait like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> like an Ewa. I'm like, oh, you got any food or anything around here? No, 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 no food. Nah, you can wait on the bus, but <laughs> we're just going to walk it, mate. Yeah. What the fuck? We got a couple VBs if you want. <laughs> I guess I'll take a VB. Yeah, I mean, for the uh, for the Iron Man, you got to actually be smart about, like, your your goos and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to get good. You, you got to get, get good up. Because, I mean, the, the try takes, like, two hours, yeah. you know? I'm like, I don't even... Yeah. I could not even eat goo. Yeah. You got to be eating goo. Dude, that... that uh, I knew, well, how do you pee? What do you... Are you peeing? Apparently on the bike you just like piss out the side of your shorts. No way. And then you also shit out the side of No. No, nah, I don't think you do that. <laughs> I think some people end up shitting themselves for sure. I've seen some gnarly ass shit just even being there cheering for my parents. Like dudes with just blood like streaming down their nipples and <laughs> like piss stains all over well, them. I bet the Iron Man is like I mean, it doesn't seem like a healthy thing to do. Yeah, yeah, I think it's bad for you. It's for sure bad for you. <laughs> for sure. I mean, dude, we're talking like 14 hours. Yeah. Of just- no, it's, yeah. I mean, the, the Ultra took me nine and a half. So that was my first. Nine that, and a half? Yeah, that's that's not, it was a lot of like uphill, just slow, like just grinding it out, trying to get to the top. That's nuts. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying that's like a bad time. I'm just like, holy shit, you were running for nine hours. That's did, what I'm saying. So it was walk. like my first experience, like planning out nutrition. Because uh-huh. if you don't do that, then you just like die. And did you so like salt tablets, uh, you know, like liquid IV, right? Three hundred calories an hour or something like that. How many times did you shit your pants? Um, a couple. I actually didn't shit. I actually like you know in the morning before you do something, you like got to drink the coffee and get the morning shit out. Yeah, that never happened that morning. Yeah, so I had to shit the entire time. Oh, and kind of just just held it. Oh man, yeah, that is that's tough. Yeah. On the on the bike ride, there was a moment where I was like, I had all my gear on and I was feeling pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like I was Those all all cool. black and I was on my black bike and I was like, yeah, I'm fucking, I'm a I'm a beast, you know. And I, yeah, well, triathlon magazine. I don't know if you guys saw me, but <laughs> <laughs> and I and I go reach down to grab the like you know you keep your the, the water bottle in your bike, you know. I just <laughs> did that, <laughs> threw it back in there, fell right out, lost the bottle, goes. I was like, <laughs> It's the person behind you. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit, effect. Sorry. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, just a damn it. Seventeen like, bike pile yeah. up. Yeah. It was like on mile two. I was like, ah, Ooh, out my God, of water. George for the Clooney next. broke his knee. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, sorry about that, dude. Out yeah, of water I for the next it. hour. I saw Diplo do it. He was I, another. I he, saw was, him. he was another celeb. Yeah, I did it. He was. I saw him there. What other celebs? <sighs> dude, so many. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> um. You got to uh, ask, man, then probably not part of that class. So. Yeah. yeah. Let me know if you want to join, man. I could, yeah. I, could <laughs> I could, get you in the slub division. What's going on with Real Bros? This is a good question. Is it? Because uh, Christian yeah. sold, told me some stuff, and I was like, ooh. Uh, when did he tell you some stuff? At the Juneshine party. Oh. One that you didn't, weren't there for. <laughs> yeah. But I also heard you say on Barstool, or whatever, you were on. Um, part mm-hmm. of my take? Yeah. You said something about season four that you were like writing it, and well, so we pitched. <clears throat> See, Facebook, pitched okay, Facebook is no longer doing scripted content, okay. So it's not going to happen at Facebook, okay. So we basically pitched the show to some streamers, the bigger streamers, yeah. And 
I don't think we could have done a better job pitching the show. Okay. Like we really, like if you saw the pitch, you'd be like, I'm fucking sold. Really? Yeah. I was kind of shocked. I, I never go into a pitch like expecting anything. I just think, you know, I just expect nothing. From yes. Pitches. Yeah. yeah. But I this know, one, I, I was truly like, someone's going to want it. Well, like, because like the sh- it's established and it, yeah. like clearly people like this. And it's not expensive. So like the amount of like extra viewers like the viewers per dollar of that show has got to be like up there yeah yeah um but i think it was i didn't get any good like what is that what would that number be <laughs> even do you even have like a ballpark no <laughs> so i'm saying there's no, no. It's like you were you were gonna say something and then you're up i mean it's gotta be high i just was gonna say like it's gotta be like compared to you know you got like yeah. on yeah. which didn't do well and it's like yeah. and then you know real bros cost Stuff like looping yeah <laughs> like, real real bros cost way less than that for like the whole season yeah. and you know we're getting a ton we could get a ton of guaranteed viewers on it yeah so what we're at now is uh i'm trying to acquire it back from facebook okay get it all on youtube and then try to finish the show on YouTube. Oh, okay. The problem with that is that, you know, obviously financing, it's just you can't really make your money back on YouTube for something like that. Now you can. H- how so? It, monetization has gotten a lot better on YouTube. Because- Please talk to me about monetization, yeah. Cody. <laughs> you clearly up. have the monetization on YouTube figured out. <laughs> I'm just saying for something like that, people, it's, you know, like mid-roll ads... Mm-hmm. people are much, are much like more used to them now like there's more ways that you can do it mm-hmm. you could also do it like as a monthly subscription thing mm. like there's a lot more ways that you can make that money back i bet you you would yeah but how much do you think you you would need for another season uh can you bleep it yeah i'll bleep it can you actually yeah <laughs> okay never mind <laughs> you're not getting anything close to that yeah so that's, that's what i'm saying so you want to do it big like well dude that's what season season two i mean season three again bleep this yes, place we'll bleep season it. three was like or something oh my god and that's like that's cheap as fuck like that's so i didn't know that that is so cheap like that is the low 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 end of how much Damn. tv costs because i was thinking i was i was watching our old episode and we have this exact same conversation about season three, mm-hmm. right? That's the one that went on Facebook. Season two and three. Okay, so it was it was right before that. I guess it was after the first season. Would that make sense? I first think, season, yeah. <clears throat> I think and you were like the first season because you were like, "I'm I'm pitching it right now, season two. Like I want to do it, but for a bigger budget." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, I was like, "How much would you need for a second season?" And you were like, "Yeah, someone's got to give me that, but no one's given me that so far." And then. And then you ended up selling it to Facebook. Doing something like that on YouTube is tough. <laughs> That's wild. That really is wild. I can't. I won't say the exact number. We'll, again, we'll, we'll bleep it. But it was way more than I thought it was. Yeah. What did you think it was going to be? Again, like. Yeah. No. You know, it was way more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Uh, okay. Yeah. So it would be tough to make that back on YouTube. Yeah. And I sure. wouldn't really care to make it back. I just want to make it. Like I would do it. I would do it for free. I just want to finish it. I just want to finish the show. Yeah. And I think we're going to we're gonna figure out a way to do it. Um, I think the best move right now is to just kind of like try to acquire it back from uh, Facebook. Put all the episodes back on my YouTube channel. And then try to, I don't know, maybe we'll do like a Indiegogo campaign or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to, just to do it. So I just want to finish it where it started, get it back on YouTube, and finish the show. We have a really good... We have really good concepts for seasons four and five um, that would be just really, really funny and per- a perfect way to end the show. And I just like won't be satisfied until we do it. Okay. Well, I mean, this is, uh, I guess, you know, anyone who has extra money lying around, you know, if you're like dad's a... We'll put uh, or something like put our uh, our our bank routing number in the description, yeah, yeah, yeah. or our cash app maybe. Yeah, cash app. Yeah, and just like hit us with some funds and <laughs> hit us with like so much money. <laughs> <laughs> hit us with way more than you think. <laughs> we, yeah. 
But again, that's like that is like the lowest budget. Yeah. Like show. Yeah. Like shows don't go much lower than that. Mm. Which gives you a sense of like the big shows. What's the budget of Ah, uh, <laughs> again, please. I think, I think, like, probably, like, wow, damn, f- yeah. How much they paying you? Good amount. <laughs> <laughs> Good amount, but not enough to pay for real bros season four by myself. Okay, okay, yeah, fair. Damn, that's great. Like Game of Thrones is like, yeah, but they travel with a city. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm watching that show. I'm like, damn, like, who's taking care of the horses and the goats? That's who's, true. Yeah. Who's holding their the actor's swords? Yeah. Cut. Actor's not holding his sword. Yeah. There's a guy that yeah. comes over that he hands his sword to. Yeah. That guy has a goat with him. Someone takes the goat. Someone cleans the goat. Someone feeds the goat. Yeah, they got a Someone whole farm. Someone cleans the armor. Someone dirties the armor. Yeah. Someone is there to, you know, there's a million things going on at all times i'm just like the amount of things you need is just nuts how would you get into goat tending for sets i don't know man I, we had a we had a dog on set the other day and it was like the most well-trained dog oh really like it, it was way more well-trained than all the babies <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that we've worked with yeah, they gotta fucking train those babies better. <laughs> Pro tip, never write a baby into a show. We got so lucky with Hawk, man. Hawk was like the nicest, sweetest baby. Yeah. Set of twins. Yeah. So for people that don't know, every time you use like a a baby or a child or whatever, they need <laughs> Maybe to be rephrase that, but but uh <laughs> like cast <laughs> cast one. Yes. Every time you cast an infant, they can work for maximum two hours. So if you get twins, you get four hours. Right. So that's why all the kids are twins. Yeah. But when you have twins in the show. <laughs> and you need quadruplets? Kind of fuck. <laughs> but like they had this dog that, that the owner would like say something and the dog would like, ah, like bare his teeth. Okay. And he had all these commands that would make. Oh, him. were they like German? Yeah, it was like a German shepherd. Like, Ipche. And, and they'll do something? It and was, you're like, what, how, what language was, in, was that? I don't know if they Germans, have like their own dog command language. I don't know if they only speak German, German Shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. <laughs> I think I think some German Shepherds respond in English. Yeah, no, I'm saying, but like the <laughs> the 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 real good dog trainers, they all use like I've seen them on TikTok. They all use this like specific command language mm. that sounds like German. It it was like I don't even remember what he was saying, but it was like very short, like yeah. And, and, and the, the dog would be like, eh, like his teeth, he would bare his teeth. And I was like, wow, you can make him do that on command? Because there's a part of the script where like we look over the dog and it goes, eh, and I he had him it. doing it. Holy shit. And, and then you get these babies, you know, you never like, know. Bare your teeth. And they're, and they're they just, shit themselves. They just cry and vomit. You put them down, they just run. Yeah. It's a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> it's so unprofessional. Train your babies, people. Train your babies. So what do you mean for Halloween? <laughs> Dude, every year, I'm like, I don't want to wait till the last minute. I know. I did the same shit. And here we are. My girlfriend's like, what are we going to be? Like a month ago, what are we going to do? Because I don't want to think about this week of. I was like, we're going to think about this week of. Yeah. I have a uh, wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man costume. Love that. And... Um, I was thinking about doing that. It's got a little fan in it and it's like, you know, that guy. And, but the problem is that it's a lot of pressure because I saw a guy in that costume a couple, a few years ago and I was mad because it was a girl actually. And she wasn't wacky. She wasn't waving. And she wasn't She flailing? was just standing there. She wasn't was she flailing, flailing at She least? was just standing there with a drink in her hand on the dance floor. And I'm like, if you're going to be in that costume, you need to just. Yeah. It is a lot of pressure, though, because it's hard to do that for. All night. Yeah. I was going to do it a couple years ago. I bought the costume like three or two, two years ago. And I was going to do it. And I just wasn't in a good enough mood. Yeah. Because. You weren't feeling wacky or. I wasn't feeling up to the the challenge. I didn't want to disappoint. You have to be on the dance floor all night. Just. Like this, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to, yeah, you have to do those ones. <laughs> what are you gonna be? 
Uh, so same thing. I'm like, at the beginning of the month, I'm like, babe, should we do this? Should we do it? I've never been serious about a Halloween costume before. And on the day of Halloween, I'm always jealous of the people that took it seriously. Because mm-hmm. everyone's like, oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. So I'm like, should we get a costume designer? Should we like spend too much money and like try to do it right? Uh-huh. Of course, it didn't do shit. And then this morning before you got here, I'm on Amazon buying a shirt because my costume now is Augustus Gloop from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, got you. The kid that eats, you know, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. kind of the glutton. If I saw it, I would know. Yeah, you would. I didn't know his name. You know the dude with the chocolate all over, all over his mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's who I'm going to be. So clearly not a recognizable character, though. Well, he would be, but I just I didn't know his name was Augustus Gloop. Yeah. Kind of the same outfit as, uh, like, Where's Waldo, so... Where's Waldo's good? I like things that give you like a kind of a job. Like where's Waldo? You could you just kind of hide all night, you know? Right, okay. Get in the back of photos, and that's funny. <laughs> you know, that gives it gives <laughs> you a funny thing to do. That is really funny. Halloween, I always think is funny because you really see who's got a lot of time on their hands. Yeah. You see someone show up, and you're like, you spent you spent a while on this. You went to like multiple different thrift stores and and hunted for that costume. And also your face, you painted the whole thing. You've been thinking about this for a while. How's work going? <laughs> <laughs> it can't be going great because you are way too prepared <laughs> for Halloween. <laughs> so what's up, man? <laughs> are you still employed? Are you good? <laughs> are you dating? Did you know, by the way, speaking of Kelsey. Yeah. <laughs> did you know that she was in my second YouTube video of all time? Is it the dance one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I did know that. Is she dancing in the video? She is. Yeah. She is, uh, she was obviously a cheerleader. Yeah. And we taught the cheerleaders the dance. Yeah. And so she is in, she is in the, uh, the dance. Is it still up? Oh yeah. So people can go see that. People can go see it. The dance. The dance. Life of Jimmy. Life according to Jimmy. Life according to Jimmy. <laughs> Actually, it might be the Jimmy Tatro channel. So just the dance Jimmy Tatro. Yeah. You'll see it. Sandstorm. Damn. That's a little throwback right there. What? Do you want me to pull it up? Is it Sandstorm? It's Sandstorm. Because that's going to get us copyrighted. Play it. Play it. No, no volume. Right in the, <laughs> right in the middle. You'll see her. There she is. <laughs> Wait, which one? Is you she? see her back, uh, back right. Like, uh, three. Oh, over. yep. Yep. There she yep. is. <laughs> wow. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> She's killing it. But then, but then go sk- skip forward a little more. Yeah. And there we go. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. Now we're all in there. <laughs> She's still right there. <laughs> this really is the dance. This is amazing. Yeah. I don't know how we convinced the cheer team to let us. A keep, little stanky leg. There? Teach them this. Smell? St- oh, we were all about the stanky leg. You know, I did the stanky leg when I accepted my diploma. Good. <laughs> in college or? In, in high school <laughs> okay. and in hindsight i was like <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking good you and guys we, choreographed this whole thing we did we launched this and girl then, so high <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and there she is that's kelsey right on my left wow wow Damn. this wow. is that's hilarious i wonder if she's gonna be pissed that we showed this <laughs> Did, so this is your first. This is your second ever YouTube video. I think so. One point yeah. three million views. Yeah, that's why. Like when when you started dating Kelsey, and I saw her on your story, I was like, "Is that Kelsey Preppel? <laughs> like, how did that even happen?" I was like, "What? That's so random." Damn, that's crazy. And look at you guys now. Yeah, engaged, Getting married. Congratulations! Yeah, by thanks, the way. man. Are you coming? I'm coming. When that's is good. it? I sent you to save the date. No, I know. It's, it's, okay, it's okay, in my okay. calendar. Yeah, I just yeah. didn't ha- know. Oh, wait. Bleep that out, by the way. Oh, you bleep yeah, that yeah, out? Yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely. You're um, going to have a lot of bleeping to do. Yeah, there are, there's a substantial That's amount. why I was saying we should go on a little longer since you're going to cut out, you know, maybe eight minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have 15 usable mi- minutes today, so. We 15 usable minutes. 15 usable. It's solid. That's yeah. solid. It was really good, man. That is. So thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. It's great to see you. You too, man. So I'm looking forward to doing this again in five years. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, like, uh, well, I'll see you at your wedding. Yes. Um, and then I'll see you at the Malibu try. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep, I'll see you there. Um, and besides that, man, <laughs> it's 
it's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, five years. Um, good to see it. Good to catch up. I'm gonna pencil that in. Yeah, do it. Toss it on the cow. I'll toss it on the cow. And uh, yeah, we'll make sure to chat Halloween costumes yeah, in October you, you, of 2028. Seven. Oh, jeez. Yep. I'm gonna be 38 years old. Whoa. 30? No, I'm not. 36. Jesus Christ, I can't do basic math. Oh, you're 31. Yeah. Okay. Almost 32. I'll be 32 in a month. What day is your birthday? 22nd. November, November 22nd? Yeah. Well, are you a Scorpio? No, I'm a Sag. Oh, you just missed it. I, I'm a Cusper. Oh. Yeah. Cusper the friendly coast. Nice. <laughs> nice. What are you? I'm an Aquarius. Oh, uh, okay. Let's Never really. Gang, gang. Three of us? Wow. Nice. I've never really resonated gang, with gang. you. Gang. Gang, gang, Aquarius. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fellow Aquarius, brother. Aqua boys. I've Dude, never really. Passionate re- yet fiery. Is that what it is? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> People Romantic. say Aquarius things. I'm always like, that sounds so vague. <laughs> yeah. Like Scorpios, they have a specific thing. Yeah. Which you know? is? They're like nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, you know, there's like. Aquarius. The- Aquarius. Oh, down to earth and temperate. <laughs> all the things i read i'm like it just seems like we're just they're like yeah you're it's like Water, uh, watery watery <laughs> i don't know yeah huh well hmm. it's good to talk star signs with you man yeah i did thanks for coming on i appreciate it thanks for joining us for insanely chill episode three and uh you know make sure to watch home economics on ABC. Make sure to watch Home Economics on ABC and uh, stay tuned for some more Real Bros updates. Woo! I'll be coming back on here to promote our, our Kickstarter campaign pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Peace. <laughs>